Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having a great weekend, or had a great weekend. It's pretty much over. Um, but I hope you're having a good week coming up. And uh, I just wanted to kind of give an update. And uh, my subscriber count on YouTube is actually growing. Uh, kind of by a lot. Uh, I believe I was almost at 300 or right there subscribers. Um, my videos are seem to be doing okay. Thank you. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. Thank you. I uh, hope you're, you hope something's coming out of this. Um, anyway, I just wanted to, um, I'm on a lot of the forums online, a lot of the Facebook groups, and I, I, I read that, you know, people are, are buying these crazy items that, you know, they're, they're branded ketogenic or they're branded keto or they're, they're, you know, whatever. And there, I was walking through Walmart today and there was a ketogenic coffee. It was almost twice the amount for like 15 or 16 K cups than what I got. I, coffee in itself is ketogenic. Um, I mean, there may have been something else more to this coffee, but you know, is it, is it worth the extra money? Um, you know, um, there's a lot of stuff like if, you know, we have HEB here in, in Texas and, you know, uh, schnooks and stuff like that in other places. And, and so I was, I just did some looking around at, at grocery store websites and it's crazy. I mean, some of the stuff is, is necessary or, or whatnot, like the, the, the fat bombs that, um, uh, um, uh, that come out by some brands. I mean, those are kind of nice because it kind of saves you some time in making it yourself. But you know, some of the stuff's just, it's just a marketing ploy. So you just got to watch, you just got to watch it. Um, same thing with, you know, the sugar free or zero sugar or, or whatever you have to relabels. I'm seeing people post, you know, over and over again about the same kind of thing. And if you just look at the labels that, and know the sugars that are being put in it, or some people are just ignoring the fact that there's, you know, cane sugar or corn syrup or, or whatever. I mean, the big ones. Um, but I, you know, I'm kind of I'm I'm doing this for me. I'm, you know, you know, if somebody else is going to make mistakes, I will, you know. I'll try to chime in where I can, but you know, it's not my it's not my decision if they make a mistake or not. Um, so I know that I've been saying about finding my weight and this and that, and uh, and having to go to some recycling center or something. Uh, a friend of mine, Julie, called around and she found a place. It was actually a weight loss center. I'm assuming they do, you know, the surgical options, um, probably more than straight dieting. And they have a scale. Um, and I'm gonna post the number. Um, it's less than what I thought. Still not super happy with it, but it is less than what I thought. And uh, it is, two or three weeks after starting keto, so it's probably not a true starting number, but it's as close as I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna accept I'm gonna accept what the scale said. Um it's 516.6. That's where I started. Um so I can only lose. Um I'm changed my gym routine around I am no longer going at night I'm going crazy early in the morning there's a couple people I follow on snapchat and Instagram and whatnot that go super early in the morning and it just seems to make sense so that's the last three or four times I've gone has been really early in the morning also just been walking around like if I go to Walmart I go up and down every aisle um, I go you know, even if I don't need X product, I just go and look. And I know that's bad considering most of the crap is on the inside of the store, but you know, I, uh, 
I just want to get steps in, pretty much. I'm not a mall walker or anything like that, but I'll go, you know, keep a watch around Walmart. Um, so that's my weight. That's, that's where I'm starting at. So I think the 100 pounds off by the end of January, I think it's doable. Um, I definitely do. Um, it's just, it's just going to take a lot of sweat. Um, that's about it. Uh, I did want to mark the, uh, the start of my journey in a, such a way that it will always remind me and, and, you know, whether you think it was a bad idea, a good idea, it's already done. Um, I went out to local tattoo shop and I'll put it up on the image on the screen now, but got my logo, which a long standing logo of mine and my weight. Um, this isn't always going to be my weight, obviously, but for, you know, as of Thursday, that's what I weighed. Um, I am not going to weigh myself every, probably even every week. Uh, I think weighing yourself too often is bad. I think you're going to end up having a day or two or three where you might gain a pound or you break even or you, you know, you don't lose as much as you thought and you get discouraged and you, you quit or you go grab a box of donuts or, you know, whatever. And that's not good. Um, I, I want to stay, you know, every couple weeks, maybe once a month, weigh in and just go from there. I'm more, and then this is an idea from a friend of mine, I'm, I'm more worried about the non-scale victories. Um, the fact, like I said, I can, I'm, I'm putting my belt all the way at the end, you know, and have to, I actually just punched a new hole in it. Um, the fact that my watch fits looser, the fact that my shirts seem to be fitting a little, little bit looser, the fact that, you know, I can, I can grab something off the ground where, you know, I might have kind of struggled to do it, you know, three, three weeks ago. I'm not going to say it's huge changes, but it's changes. And it's, it's something only I notice, but that's fine. You know, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this for my friends. I'm not doing this for, you know, you know, somebody I love or, or whatever. I'm doing this for me. And that's, I mean, that's motivation enough. It's, it needs to be. Um, but uh, I, I just, I don't know. I, I really, I, I hope that you think that way too. I hope that. You know, you do something that you couldn't do two weeks ago, and it's positive, and you you rejoice in that because you're going to have failures, you're gonna have slip ups, you're gonna have mistakes, and the problem with with doing keto is it takes a quite a while to get back in you know ketosis to get back on the horse, so you slip up once, and you you know you you have a meal that's way outside your scope. You know, you can you can you can really set yourself back. So, um, just just rejoice and rejoice in the little victories. Um, you know, I hope that I hope that you get a lot, and I hope you have a great week. Um, I know this video is not super long, and that's kind of by design. Uh, it's kind of late, and it's almost my bedtime. So. I hope you have a great night. I hope you have a great week. Just try to eat clean and, and get out there and do something. See you later.